Hello everybody, welcome back to Binary Adventure, Rad Air 2 uh, tutorial series. So um, we're pretty much exactly where we left off in the last video. In this video I'm just going to cover how to cross-reference. Cross-referencing is super important. If, you know, if you've done anything in IDA before, um, or any other disassembler, or even if you haven't, um, it's just it's a useful thing to be able to go and see. So let's say you, you're looking at uh, a encryption algorithm, and you're trying to see where that function is called in the code, in the program. This is going to help you because you might need to see which arguments are being passed to that function. So cross-referencing is super useful. It'll show you everywhere in a program where a function is called or utilized, okay? Um, and then as I go through the videos, I'm going to do things different ways so you can kind of pick up how to navigate through Rad Air. Okay, so let's say we want to see where printf is called. So just like the last video, we're going to put the seek at our printf right here. Okay, and we're going to hit enter. Um, and now that we're in the printf code, the seek is at that printf address. So which means that if we cross reference for this address right here, we're going to see everywhere in the code that printf is called. So how do we do this in Red Air? So all you do is you hit colon, just like in Vim, and then you're going to type the command axt. And you can see here that... Uh, it lists it out right here. So it says that in the function print stats at this address right here, there's a call to print it to f printf. And then in main, there's a call right here to f printf. And then graph frequencies, there's another call to f printf. So um, let me hit, let me exit out of here. Let me go back. Um, so that was actually f printf. So let me actually see if I can find the regular printf. So here's regular printf. So I thought that was regular printf. So let's do the same thing for this now. Let's go in there and uh, we'll hit colon and we will type in the command axt again, which stands for cross references too. So A is analysis, the analysis module, X is cross references, and then T is two. So uh, axt, so there's a lot more cross references to or places in the binary where the regular printf is called than f printf. You can see them all right here. So, you know, okay, let's actually go to one of those. Let's see it actually being called in action. In order to do that, we're just going to type s for seek and then we're going to type one of those addresses. So let's go ahead and seek to this call right here, uh, 0xAE0. So 0xAE0, enter. Remember, you got to press enter one more time for the screen to update. Boom. So now you can see this is where printf is being called in the code, okay? And then let's scroll up and see what function this is. Um, so actually, you can see the function is called print stats right up here, but we actually didn't have to scroll up in order to see where the function was because as I scroll back down here, you can see that the current function is, is listed by rad error at the top here, and it tells us the offset of which, you know, where we're at within that function, okay? So um, yeah, let's go back just and then uh, we can go ahead and let's do that one more time. Uh, so we'll do an AXT again, and you know, if we wanted to go look at some other locations, we could do the same thing right there. You can see that it's called within main, it's called within graph frequencies, etc. So now let me go back one more time, and um, I don't expect that there will be many from <laughs> references, but if for some reason you wanted to look at uh, cross reference uh, from instead of to, you'd hit colon, and then you would type AX. F. And you can see here that uh, these jumps, you know, basically the these these jumps are are from printf. So the code itself, like the main code, is going to be calling is 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 referencing printf, and then printf is referencing these jumps here, um, which you can see um, right down here. So. So um, that's the main thing I wanted to show in this video was just how do you cross reference uh, because it's a very important thing to be able to do. In the next video, what I'm going to do is cover how to view imports, exports, strings, and symbols. Um, and I'll also, I might do a separate video on strings as well. So uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.